Welcome to the HLGU News Update. I'm Josh Molnar. Hannibal Grange University has once again been awarded the Courts Redford Award for Excellence. The award is given by the North American Mission Board to the top colleges and universities in the nation for student missions. Over 300 institutions participate with the North American Mission Board, and Hannibal LaGrange University has been one of the top three schools for the past five years. In 2010, Hannibal LaGrange finished number one. As we celebrate Carroll Missions Week, here's a story by Emily Hill from last fall. On a typical Friday morning, these HLGU students are taking a short break from the classroom to lead music at Beth Haven Nursing Home. This group is one of the reasons why Hannibal LaGrange University has once again been named the number one school in the nation for mobilizing students for missions work. Through music, singing, and Bible readings, these students minister to residents here, sharing God's love in a very practical way. You know, we know about their lives, they know about our lives, so that's probably the most important aspect is just building relationships and sharing God's love through those relationships. And while local outreach plays an important part in the school's missions program, the university is also preparing students to take the gospel around the world. Neil Sneed, a junior, will spend next semester in South Africa. For the past probably three or four years, I've known that God wanted me to go to Africa. Um, I don't know like a full-time missionary or just a one-time thing like I'm doing next semester, but I know eventually, I, I'm pretty sure at least God wants me to do some kind of full-time missions position. For Sneed and many students like him, missions work is a way of life that extends far beyond college graduation. I'm hoping that it's not just a people go on the mission field right now and then they don't do it later in life. I'm hoping that um, being the number one in the nation that we're also um, preparing people to go after school or um, these people are making decisions to actually follow Christ and be able to go on um, with their lives spending more time in missions because that's what we're called to do. The award given by the North American Mission Board recognizes the efforts of students who serve both locally and across the world. VP of Collegiate Affairs Dr. Tom Hufty says the school's success in mission work is the result of God's blessing and students' willingness to serve. God has brought to HLG a lot of students that have a heart for missions and have a heart for doing things something much bigger than, than they are. The things that they do, the lives that they've touched, I mean, uh, this side of heaven will never know the thousands of lives that our students have touched as a result of, of these efforts. And this award just simply uh, puts a, a tangible uh, recognition that God's at work here. Reporting for the Trojan News Network, I'm Emily Hill. 35 people are back on campus after a week-long trip to Panama City. The Beach Reach Missions team reached people by sharing the Word of God and serving delicious pancakes. We went to Panama City Beach where we offer free van rides to spring breakers who are there to party. <laughs> um, and we also had um, students who participated in street teams and that consisted of groups of about three or four students who just engaged in conversation with spring breakers as they were walking on the along the road or out in front of clubs. It was really just neat to see how all that played out and just to be able to talk to people about um, just uh, everyday school things but then also to be able to talk to them about um, their religion and everything and just see how they were brought up and uh, to be able to see people realize um, the things that they were doing and just to encourage them to uh, seek out scripture and to figure out what they really do believe. A lot of people just um, kind of, you could tell, were going on the faith of their parents or their grandparents or something where they didn't really have a faith of their own. So just being able to encourage them in that and allow them to see that uh, it's important to know what you believe. That's all the time we have for now. See you next time. For HLGU News, I'm Josh Mulner.